Hello. Uh, so in this video, we are going to go through the process of uh, capturing expenses. We are, going to, we are going to be capturing expenses in the system. So to capture our expenses, we can go to end abuse. And then under end abuse there, so I can click there under end abuse. And then this one, you need to untick it, then click OK. I uh, can okay, maximize that. So the supplier, so enter the supplier name. So let's say in this case we want to build for for our supplier, uh, maybe for electricity. So let me say my supplier name is Zesa. Let me just type in capital letters. So my supplier name is Zesa. Uh, so I type in Zesa there, and then the current, let's say the current is going to be USD for this customer or for this supplier. I don't want to add other details like the address for this. So I'm going to click on quick add. Uh, and then here we have got items and expenses. Uh, if we are capturing expenses, we are going to use this tab. If we are receiving goods for resale, we we'll use this one. But in this case, we are going to use this one because we are going to be dealing with expenses. Then under account here, we are going to select the account uh, or the general ledger account that we are going to build. So we want to build electricity. So let me just type electricity. So already there are other general ledger accounts that we can view all these ones, written expenses. They come with the system by default. So we are, we are going to add a new one. Uh, let me just delete that one. Right. So we are going to add electricity. So I type electricity there. Electricity. Then click on enter. So it's saying that electricity is not in the system. So I click on setup to add the electricity. And electricity here, it falls under expenses. So I leave it ticked there. Then I click on continue. Account name is electricity. Description, I'm going to put description as well as, as, as electricity. If you want to use the sub account, you can also make use of it. But in this case, we're just going to keep it a very simple so we are not going to use sub accounts so electricity electricity then i click on save and close so next time we are we want to use electricity we are not going to do that again so let's say our bill for electricity is three dollars fifty so i enter my 350 memo if i want to write something maybe i can say uh electricity electricity for for me so i can just say electricity for me and then uh, you can click on save and close if you want to print this one you can click print if you also want to attach the receipt that you got from zesa you can also attach it so in this case i don't want to print it but maybe i can, I can preview it so this is how the view will be looking like uh, we can also customize it uh, if you want to print you can print it then i can click on close cancel there and then i can click on save and close so basically, this is how we do or capture our expenses in QuickBooks accounting.